Hello peoples, welcome to episode 18 of Minecraft on the Mount Wobegon server. Today I'm going to be playing with redstone, and what better way to start things off than with a bang. As you'll see, I have a block of TNT in my hand, Ah, so I'm ready to blow stuff up, or try to at least. So what I've learned about TNT cannons is that they are destructive, obviously, because they use TNT. And also, TNT just does not blow things up, I mean like destroy blocks, if it's sitting in water. The same holds true for creepers. Now what I'm trying to do here is create a small pool for the TNT to rest in. There we go. Uh, actually, for a cannon, you also need a place for it to go. That's why I made crafting bench. Oh, and I got all this acacia wood because it's so much extra stuff and this is what I'm going to be using when I want to craft wood type items. Okay, where... I had sticks, where did they go? There they are. Three signs, I'll need one more. There we go. Okay, now if I just put the signs here Oh, there's a snake in the water. If I put the signs here, that should keep the water from flowing out farther than here. So while the, the flow sh while the flow continues down this way, it won't go past the signs. Now it looks like this snake wants a piece of me. Maybe. I don't know how they behave. Bye bye, Mr. Snake. Alright, now let's fill this pool, pond, TNT trap with water. One, two, and three. All against the back block. Mm, you know what? I'm going to put this here because... whoops. Because I don't know if the TNT would fall here, it would continue... You know, I could test it with uh, dropping an item. Alright, if the TNT fell there, would it continue to be pushed that way? Yes. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, this thing is making a bit of a corner, but I think this will fix it. There we go. Okay, straight all the way across. Now, next thing I want to do is have something that will drop the TNT. So, if I put a button here, Pushing it should activate the TNT, causing it to fall down that way. But I also need a second block of TNT. That will... Well, basically, you need one block of TNT to push the second one as sort of a... to fire it. And the second one to be triggered is the one that will explode and hit your target. Uh, I kind of forgot about that, but I can add more onto the platform here for redstone work. Da -da -da -da. I figured out in my base before I ran out here. I'm just actually down the hill from my little farm and my base there. I figured out in my home that I think three fully timed redstone repeaters should do the trick. Now I'm going to remove this, just to be super safe, and get started on this. So first thing I want to do is push a button that will activate the TNT, but, well actually I'm not exactly sure where I want these things to be, let me see. I want one to go off, and another one to go off soon after that. So the one I want to go off second should probably be here. You know, I'm going to make this easy for myself. Okay. The first one to go off will be this one. That will push the second one. Well, it could be this one or that one. I was thinking maybe not this one because it might fall out before... Yeah. This will be the second one because it'll push 
get pushed by the first one. Alright. Now I need to set up some repeaters in a way that makes sense. I'm going to need a lot of room to figure out exactly what I want to do just to make sure things are working. Now I'm no redstone genius but once I figure out how things are working I can definitely simplify it because at that point I really understand what's going on now. Okay. Alright, I think this will do much better. So, I'll push a button, that'll go off, and then I need three repeaters into that one. I should have brought another item with me. Oh, why do I have doors? Like, as I was saying, I should have another item with me. Uh, sort of a test. But I can just make some. I'll use trap doors. There we go. Alright. Now, uh, put this here and there. Hmm. I want it to point at the trap doors, but I don't want it to, you know, make a chain with each other because I'm not sure if that will actually make it work. Okay, first will be this one, so then this one needs the repeaters. Two, three. And each one on a full delay. Now it looks like nighttime is coming, so give me a minute, let me reset that. Okay, I'm back, I slept. It is now daytime. A lot quicker than I wanted. Well, as quick as I wanted. I would. Okay, I'll push a button. That'll send the signal this way. And this way. So, okay. Now, as a test, if I push the button, that should send a signal immediately triggering this one. And then also waiting for 12 ticks to activate this one after that. So if there was TNT in place of these things, you would have one... Oh, you know what? I have to put this here just in case the TNT decides to, you know, like when you, if you've seen TNT be, be set off, it sort of jumps a bit and slides, slides to one direction. And if I didn't have these there, it could have slid off instead, let's say, to this side and not into the water, and that would pretty much blow up everything. Okay, so the first one goes off. Hmm, it'll continue to flow that way. But yeah, I'm thinking I should keep it from moving. Because if it goes too far, it might not really do anything with the second one or even push it backwards. How can I stop this? I could put something there. What does that do? Man, the stuff that happens when you try to play with redstone. Well, let me see just how the timing is with these things, and maybe I'll decide to do something different with the TNT. Okay, button, block, and... You know what? Let me do it from this side so I can see what's happening. Hmm. So the redstone signal on top of the block activates the block next to it, but if it goes through a repeater, that is not so. So I can just do this? No. In that case, I might need to move the block I want to activate up here. Let me see. One, two, three. I wonder if that does anything. Well, it's ugly, but it works. Now, the next thing to do would be to see if the timing is good. I'm going to see if I can toss the torch in and push the button. It might just be enough. Yeah, I, I was going to push the button and see if it's the second one goes off before the first one passes the point of where the second one lands. Uh, well, I'd rather have something 
keep the first TNT from moving, but yeah, ideally, I think that's what most professionals do. Anyways, best way to know if something works is to try it out. Okay, moment of truth here. Worst case scenario, everything explodes and we die. Alright, uh, okay. <laughs> this is always so exciting. Okay, mm, I wonder if I can set it off from farther away to get more of a better view. Maybe. I just have to send a signal like this? No, that's bad. Alright, that should be fine. Just put a button here. And remember that the length of redstone signal is like 15 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plenty. Alright, let's see if this works. Blast off. Uh, <laughs> that kind of sucked. Okay, what happened? Nothing. It just sat there. I don't think the second one even went anywhere. I want to test it some more, but I only have this much TNT. Well, I can try the first one again, at least, just so I can see if it moves at all. Uh, my button's down here. It's not moving. Ouch. Okay. So, what to do? We need it to move. I think I'll have to put the water one block further back. Okay. I think we're ready for take two. Uh, I don't have any extra TNT to test because I'm out of gunpowder. Hopefully this kind of works and we get some kind of better result. It's not going anywhere. Oh, and neither is the other one. You know what? It must, must be some kind of server settings, if anything. Or maybe if it's in the water, it doesn't kind of jump the way I want. Anyways, I got the timing down, but it doesn't really blow up anything. I will keep this here, however, just to, you know, remind myself to try again. Maybe someone will come up with something, or if I think of something else to do. And that's red sand. I guess I'll put back. I'm gonna here for now. Anyways, this has been episode, what is it, 18? Whatever it is, of Minecraft on the Mount Wobegon server. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like. It lets me know what people want to see so I can do more. And if you want to see what else I do, feel free to check out my channel, subscribe, whatever. Okay, and until next time, be swell, stay well, and farewell.